Hey guys, what's going on? Medic here in the garage getting ready to uh, start the seeds for the spring garden. Um, kind of feel like I have a, a few weeks late start, but that'll be okay. Here in California, we got a little bit of flexibility on uh, being able to put our seeds out early. So, um, for those of you who have uh, been with me for last season, you kind of know how I do things. For those of uh, you new people, um, since I don't have a very big garden, I start everything in straight into the Dixie cups. And I put um, about uh, three seeds. I usually try to go for three, never anything less than three, just so that I can uh, guarantee at least one will sprout. And uh, that goes for most of the things I start. Uh, some herbs and uh, onions I don't do this way, but for the most part, and beans, you know, direct plant stuff, I don't do that. But for the most part, this is how I do things because my garden isn't very big and I don't need a thousand seeds or even 50 seeds going. So I opt to go this route. And it's worked for me for the last four years, so we'll stick with it. Uh, what we have for this year... And I've slimmed down everything. If you guys know last year, we went a little bit crazy, had a lot of variety. And we're going to try to go with still some good variety, but um, try to focus on those varieties instead of having, you know, 12 different types of peppers. We'll have, you know, three or four different types and we'll have multiples of them. So this is the only watermelon we're going with. This is the one I wanted to do, uh, grow last year, but they were sold out. So I got in early on the Baker Creek, got the uh, Royal Golden. Apparently it turns from green to uh, get this yellow color when it's ripe. <clears throat> um, an, the Old Italian Tomato. You guys know the gold medal. Trying out a determinate tomato this year. I know, I say I usually grow indeterminates, but there you have it. I want some, uh, I want a good amount of tomatoes, and Rutgers is uh, well known. Paul Robeson again. A new one for this year, Dad's Sunset. And that's going to be uh, it for the tomatoes. I may pick some up at the, uh, wow, the nursery. Um, but we'll see. These are going to be started later in this group, so we'll go into those, and you guys already saw what they are, so we'll, we'll go back through them. The yellow stuffing pepper. Scotch bonnet, that's a hot one. Jalapeno, going to have a lot of jalapenos in the garden this year, planning on doing salsa and pickling. Anaheim's, love the flavor. They do an excellent flavor to Chili Verde. Gonna try some okra this year, since last year's okra sucked, so we're going, gonna try it again. A white eggplant variety, and Baker Creek always throws in something free. They threw in some flour mix or whatever. Uh, now, I already have started, I started about five days ago, uh, tomatillos, pepperoncini peppers, black beauties showing themselves again. You know those do well. California Wonder, uh, green and red apparently, you let them go, they go red, and a California Wonder, orange. So that's what I have, uh, oh, and ghost chilies that I saved from last year. So, that's going in. Uh, so like you guys saw, these will be started uh, way later down the line. Um, got the uh, squash cook neck. We had the white scallop last year, so we went with the yellow scallop this year. Black beauty eggplant, I can't can't go without eggplant. And we love the golden zucchini, so we went with those again. These are a cucumber that MPH, uh, yeah, MPH Gardener sent me. I haven't started them yet. I I know I said I was gonna do them in the greenhouse, but it just it wasn't. I wasn't gonna be able to put the time into them, so they're going outside uh, this season. 
and those will get started later too along with Japanese long cucumbers you guys saw those last year delicates cucumbers and we're going with the uh, blue leg bush this year for our beans and uh, we got a few packs of those so that's what's going on guys like I said I already got some stuff started this is how uh, I do my seeds alright guys thanks for watching alright guys I finished putting all the seeds into the Dixie Cups those are the uh, ones I did before all lined up nice these are the other ones spaced out a little bit further so there you have it I didn't have enough soil to do the uh, white eggplant and the uh, Anaheim so those will wait till a bit. those will have to wait till tomorrow when I get some soil also I will be soaking the watermelon seeds and the okra tonight for transplant tomorrow alright thanks for watching guys